everybody, welcome along to the United Skates Weekly again. I am James. Um, if some of you don't know, I uh, run United Skates Limited, um, a roller disco company, and I also run the United Skate Shop. So, if it's your first time of watching a United Skates Weekly, that's who I am, that's what the company is, and uh, I've been doing a lot of skating for a lot of years now. I build skates, I repair skates, I sell skates, I do everything pretty much there is to do with skates and skating. Um, I do pump tracks, I go to ramp parks, not so great at the ramp parks, not so great at the pump tracks, but I'm not so great at the ramp parks, but I am learning. I'm part of this mob, Beards and Barons, I'm one half of that um, group, that's a bunch of two old farts, two old farts playing in skate parks, pump tracks and generally skating anywhere we can. Uh, the Beard, the other guy, he did a wee tour um, for his 50th birthday and he skated in all the different countries that he visited. You'll see that on the page if you go over to Beards and Barons on Facebook. But anyway, back to me and me, 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 me. Um, so I've been doing a lot of skating this week, a couple of different things, been at the pump track at the Crags in Edinburgh. Have a wee look here. Bloody GoPro and I'm going round with my phone. Okay. Out of ring. And uh, also been at Sopton with uh, Kev. I'll chuck in a picture here, maybe there, maybe there, I don't know. Be somewhere about there. And uh, aye, so it's been an eventful week. Um, I've come down to Sopton today, Saturday, and the heavens opened about half an hour into being here. And uh, aye, it's just got a wee bit too damp and a wee bit too slidey. Yeah, so uh, the, the part's just totally soaking and slidey as hell although i wasn't sliding about for all i was doing i'm trying to master a bit of side surfing up and down and around some of the, some of the, trying to get around some of the as high up to the coping to side surf around because uh, that that's always been uh, my goal to side surf around the top of a bowl um as best i can uh while carving around a, a park so anyway uh pump tracks you've seen socked in uh skate park in edinburgh where kevin and i go quite a bit uh it was about he's busy today, so I just did it myself. But aye, uh, great fun, great fun. So if you need any skates or you're looking for skates, there is a massive shortage right now because of COVID. There are few skates left in the country that you can get them here, there, everywhere. It's a Google search to get what you need. Um, we can still get skates. We can still get a fair uh, few skates. Um, there's the odd pair of moxies there still. Not many, by the way. Not many at all. If you're in the popular size, four, five, six, probably no chance unless you go for the higher end jackboot, which looking the other week there, five, six, gone again. Um, so, I mean, the reports are that they'll come back into the country tail end of the year um but again wait until you hear that 100 percent. there's a lot of rumors about that on the moxie brand and uh i fancy hopefully it'll be august september i think we might be a wee bit later than that but hey fingers crossed fingers crossed um if we get them this side of christmas and um, that's a result uh, that, that's just my personal gut feeling and, a, and, and an opinion uh, I'm not influenced by that opinion by anyone or any supplier or any other company around the UK um, so if you're looking for skates and you're looking for your size buy what you can when you can contact me I'll soon tell you if it's there um, what to watch out for which is rather annoying in my opinion is a lot of companies will keep selling skates they don't have and they'll just say oh they're back order 
but you've already bought them at that point, then there's a hassle of transferring money. I won't do that. United Skates Limited will not do that. The skate shop will not do that. It's me that you get primarily. Um, I do have a partner in the business who is starting to look after a lot of the skate shop stuff, so it may be her that you get. Um, but we will not sell something that we do not have. It's pointless, it doesn't do us any favours, and it certainly doesn't do you, the skater, any favours, waiting weeks and weeks and weeks on something that somebody told you is in stock. Now, I hold my hands up, I have been guilty to not up updating a few of the, the sizes, and I was caught out twice, and I had to refund immediately. But that was immediately. You know, I had no other alternative but to refund immediately. I will not hold you for 10, 12, 3 months. What's the point in that? That's just not right. So just be mindful. Maybe chuck any company that you're buying skates from a wee email. Have you got these in stock or are they back order? Um, when will I receive them? Okay, COVID is a problem. It's getting better now. The deliveries are getting quicker and quicker from supplier to, to retailer. And uh, But it was a problem where things were taking about a week. Nothing, if it's in stock, takes three months. It's been taking about a week maximum. And I'm pretty sure most of the skate companies around the UK will, will agree to that. If it's out of stock, that's when it's taking 10, to three, 10 weeks to three months. Okay. Um, so anyway, if... You want to stay in touch or keep up to date with what's going on with skating, uh, when we're getting back with the discos, when we're... Um, God, I can't wait to get the discos back, you know. I've cancelled the podcast just now because there's not a lot of skating to talk about. Um, we were only just coming out of lockdown, so it's very difficult to even talk about the skate parts or the pump track because we've only just got the OK to use them last week, so... I'll get the podcast up and running again um, as soon as we get to, I think it's phase four when we can get back inside skating and that'll be for Junior Roller Derby, ripping the top of the day, I remember that, that's our Roller Derby team. Um, as soon as we get back inside, um, then the podcast will start again and the um, these will become more, well, there'll, be, there'll be more information put it that way there'll be more information rather than me just prattling on and on and on and on and on and on a bit same old geek different day but anyway i'll sign off for now because that must be about 10 minutes get yourselves to a pump track get in touch with me get to your local pump track and it will work out um your legs you will get a good workout especially if you're roller derby roller hockey get your asses to these places get into them and Start working out, start working out your legs, start doing distance skating. You know, don't hang about with your friends, all right? Just get out there, do your distance skating and uh, um, get build your strength back up because it's not going to be long. It's another couple of months and then we'll all be skating, doing what we normally did inside again. Okay, there might be conditions, we might need to sanitise every three seconds, but who knows? It will come back, it's going to come back really, really quickly. Um, oh, and the sun's just come out. Oh, exciting. Hope it dries the park really quickly. Have a look. Let's see if I can... Sorry about this. Let's see if I can show you the park. You might not see it. Let's turn this thing. Where are we? Where are we? Hang on. Hang on. Right, let's have a wee look. See if I can see the park. Aye, so that's the park over there. The nice wet park, all right? So not much. A couple of scooter guys running about in there. Salton Park's absolutely amazing. Yeah, I have to say, I love it there. Uh, it's totally great. Anyway, oh no, I've slackened it now, it's a problem, it's a problem. Okay, we're like, oh no, no, did he spin away? Oh, the problems with cameras and technology. Anyway, guys, um, guys, hate that. I've not said it for a while, but I've just said it there. Um, yeah, like I say, get out skating wherever you can. The minute it's dry, get yourself out, get exercising, get working out again. Join me at the pump track in the crags in Edinburgh. I go there most mornings, 7 till 9. I'll either be at the pump track at the crags or I'll be down at Salton with the beard from Beards and Barons and uh, we'll be working out. So come and join us if you're a quad skater, inline skater, just looking for somebody to hang out with, just looking for, you know, people to, that aren't judging because we're old. We're really old. We don't judge. We're, we're going to help you in any way that we can. You're never too old to skate. You're not too old to be at these parks. You're not too old to do the pump track 
Um, it's not just for the kids. It gives us, it really does. I mean, I'm 48. I feel about 18, 28 when I skate. Nothing matters. Everything disappears. Worries, cares, COVID. I, I don't have a care in the world when I skate because it all just goes. I'm just doing this thing that makes me smile ear to ear. Um, and that's that. So, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the wee like if you liked what I'm saying in this one. And uh, let's speak. You can email me direct on james at unitedskates.com. Um, any questions about skates, skating, equipment, more than happy to help you. Uh, we can get our hands on most things, providing they're in stock. And like I say, there is a shortage of skates throughout the country. Make sure you can get them before you hit that pay button. Make sure they've got them in stock because I'm hearing loads of reports of some of the bigger companies saying they've got it and they're making people wait three months. And that's just ridiculous. That's just totally ridiculous. But hey, that's how it goes. Anyway, United Skates Weekly. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye.